Hello everyone, it's me Demetra K and I hope you're having a great day. So by now, I'm sure you all have heard that the Queen of the United Kingdom, Queen Elizabeth Windsor has passed away at the age of 96. She has reigned the UK and a whole bunch of other places since 1952, roughly 70 years. And not surprisingly, a lot of people are celebrating specifically that of Black Twitter. Black Twitter is a buoyant, which means excited that she is no longer here. And I want to say this, Black Twitter, y'all know y'all ain't right behind some of those tweets. Funny. And you know, it's rightfully so, right? So let's get into it. As we know, or maybe you don't know, Queen Elizabeth has ruled specifically a lot of African countries and Caribbean countries, uh, just to name a few. And it wasn't a great ruling there. The United Kingdom under the uh, leadership of Queen Elizabeth has done things like oppress black people over in Africa and the Caribbean. And so they're not too sad to see her leave. And so, of course, there are some white people on Twitter that are like, you guys are wrong and it's evil and it's horrible that you all are celebrating. And one guy said this, dear black Twitter, if you can't show a shred of human decency, you don't deserve a shred of reparation. So it's like, oh, so now that's why we don't deserve reparations. It's funny because I thought it was a whole bunch of other things like, well, our ancestors didn't have anything to do with it. But now because black people are celebrating that, you know, the queen is dead now, now we don't deserve reparations. Get out of here. We didn't deserve it as far as you're concerned under any circumstances. So don't try to use the queen to, you know, say now you guys are really horrible people. Because if you ask a lot of people, they will say that the queen was a horrible person. And so one of the people that was, you know, very happy about her death is that of Julius Malima, the president of the EFF, the Economic Freedom Fighting Party of South Africa. And he tweeted this. God, good riddance, only one remains in South Africa. So I don't know, I think he was maybe referring to that of President Cyril Ramaphosa. I don't know, he didn't really say, but he's not too sad about it. In fact, the EFF released a two page letter highlighting all of the things that Queen Elizabeth has done specifically to that of South Africa, talking about how they have ruled over South Africa since like 1806 and it has been complete terror and horrible leadership ever since then. So yeah, of course, South Africa is not going to boo-hoo and cry over her being dead. But the end of the letter, I think, really nailed the point home for a lot of people and summed up how a lot of people feel about Queen Elizabeth. And it said this, during her 70 year reign as queen, she never once acknowledged the atrocities that her family inflicted on native people that Britain invaded across the world. She willingly benefited from the wealth that was attained from the exploitation and murder of millions of people across the world. The British royal family stands on the shoulders of millions of slaves who were shipped away from the continent to serve the interests of racist white capital accumulation at the center of which lies the British royal family. And I'm like, period. That sums it all up. And so in case you're wondering why Black Twitter is celebrating, that right there sums it up. And so, you know, I mean, she's gone. Good. I think everybody else would be better off. But the only thing is now her son, who used to be Prince Charles, is now King Charles. So what does that mean? I guess we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and think about becoming a member. I would love to have you here. Peace.